Welcome back. Here's some of the stories we're following right now. More tensions in the Middle East is the alcohol ban at many city parks being ignored. A group in southeast San Diego says it is. Other news this morning, a fire destroys a mobile home in Santee. And this morning, firefighters are still trying to find out exactly what sparked it. It is getting down to the wire for politicians in California. The primaries for the November elections are just 24 hours away. And about 130 miles east of San Diego and Brawley, a couple watched as the quake rattled the water right out of their pool. Some people are convinced it is the president getting down in the video, but others aren't buying it. Oh, and by the way, I found this nice little wallet here on the <laughs> on the chair. Finders keepers. I'll yeah. split the yeah. split the cash. Losers. Hey, I, I have a lot. Hey, can, wait, 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 oh. Let me show you. I, I have some money for you, Renee. I think I owed you. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, that right. million spot he the let fake you. fake million. Sources say. There's they always gossip? have something. There's Can gossip you believe surrounding that? Kim Kardashian. In the, in the tabloids. No. Mm. Remember, no ties, especially striped ones. Right. You know, that's what, that's what Greg has on today. He's going, wait a minute. This this is, a, I, you look, I just want you to know this tie I bought in Italy. Uh, all right, a few years 1989? ago. 1989? It is not Greg. a fascinating new book. And, and this book isn't just, uh, this isn't about theory. You actually name names in the book. Don't try and, you know, fix that bad child and, and make them good. Recognize that this is a power struggle and, and there's another reason, there's a deeper reason that they're trying to communicate to. Greg, look like he's going to a funeral. What's going on? We got one. Oh, go. my God. Oh, at least you're wearing a shirt today. Chuck. Funeral? <laughs> yeah, that's true. This no, is how we dress. Hey, Chip, not, not, not every anchor takes off their shirt. You know, when they're when they're, you know, doing their reports or on TV. I had no idea about the guns, man. Yeah, oh, you guys got the. Yeah, there you go. No, it's a show San coming. Diego those guns. It's a firm on there. So oh, when you man. feel it, it kind yeah. of replaces the tape or any kind of, you know, Definitely. substance. So it, it helps out with the kids. Now, see, why didn't I have this when I was a little late? We weren't, we weren't around yet. <laughs> <laughs> man, I got on the kilt, though. The jacket's a little tight, but does it work? It works. Oh, don't show the legs, Scott. No, no, get up here. The right. outside. So right here. Oh, wait a minute, oh! Greg. No. Come right oh, from yeah, the outside. There you go. And these right. guys are from Madagascar, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe they should have stayed in Madagascar. <laughs> today's code word, buff, B-U-F-F. -F. It's because uh, Ruben is live in Palm Springs today at a clothing optional resort. You've been there, right? No? Well, I, I can't talk about oh, my personal I'm life. Oh, so, right? I'm sorry. No, that's, that's fine. I wasn't that's supposed fine. to bring that up. All right, perfect. I love this. I'll take it. 51 miles on it. Done. <laughs> Let's make a deal. Sign All and right. drive. <laughs> I have the, you know, kind of the, the big wallet, and I keep it in my uh, in my front pocket. That's exactly where you should keep that big wallet. Right. Would you like me to take care of that big wallet for yeah, you? Want to, you want to take care Just of it? Let me just, yeah. uh, let me take care of that for <laughs> there you. There you go. Come on, right now. Let's go. Yeah. Take a look at this backyard. It looks like a twister touchdown here. You can see there's debris in the pool, in the spa. There isn't a thing left that we've been able to find in this house that would be salvageable to this family. In less than a month, five women have been attacked for no apparent reason by a man wielding some sort of a metal bar. And they were attacked, one of them was at least, right here in this parking spot. Laura, part of the 60 freeway was shut down while firefighters fought this fire. Both the east and westbound lanes only reopened about an hour and a half ago. The smoke from this fire so intense this afternoon, it could be seen for miles. As the thick black smoke climbed hundreds of feet into the air, firefighters worked to try and contain the fire. Surround and drown is what we're trying to do. And all neighboring business owners could do is watch and hope the flames didn't get too close. Probably here for good until the fire is out. I'm just worried about the wind shifting. Jim Florence builds high-end Porsches and Porsche race cars at a business next door to the fire. Multi-million dollar inventory of cars that don't belong to us. We didn't want a fire anywhere near us. Dozens of people gathered to watch as a seemingly endless supply of fuel from the plastics recycling plant burned strong for more than three hours. Plastics, foam, wooden pallets, more than an acre full of recyclables all went up in smoke. Guillermo Rodriguez is the owner of the business. I just called the fire department right away and, and the, the fire just started. You know, they just went up in flames really quick. A few seconds, everything was on fire already. Because of the potentially toxic liquid chemicals spewing into the air, firefighters weren't taking any chances. Is anybody that's involved in the actual firefight and in the, in the smoke themselves uh, is wearing a, a self-contained breathing apparatus so that they're not being exposed to the products. Back live now tonight, the Riverside County Health Department urging anyone living anywhere near this fire to take precautions, especially children, the elderly, pregnant women, anyone with health or respiratory problems. The concern, of course, is that smoke that was pouring into the air 
could be toxic. We're live in Riverside tonight. Greg Phillips, CBS 2 News. Every time you send a fax, make a phone call, use your computer, or go to the ATM, you're sending an electronic message into the air or through cables. And every one of those messages can be read at spy stations around the globe. They look at two million messages an hour. Mike Frost knows all about Echelon. For 20 years, he worked as a spy for the CSE, the Canadian hub of Echelon. 60 miles east of San Diego, off Interstate 8, you'll find a lot of desert. Okay, mile marker 58. But for Deborah Lenzer, this is much more than just desert. It's sacred ground. I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> It's where her daughter, 19-year-old Jenny Swanson, died two years ago. Oh, God, I can just see the car. It's taken that long for Lindsay to have the strength to come here. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. The day was May 22, 2000. Jenny Swanson was on her way to San Diego for a weekend beach getaway with friends. She never made it. I got that, that impossible phone call at about 1.30 in the morning. It's 5.30 in the morning. What's up, Jabo? See ya. And for the first time in four and a half years, See ya. Arnolfo Vasconis is about to be a free man. As he says goodbye to what he calls his second family. And it's like, I have my family out there, but I have my family here. He thinks about rebuilding his life. Finally today, huh? Yeah. He hopes he's out for good, out of here, out of trouble. And they got me like a some job numbers where I could call they'll hire me, you know? But to do that, this Four convicted years. drug dealer has to stay clean and report to his parole officer regularly. Going home, finally. It will not be easy. Start using or whatever and then find myself not caring about reporting and shit like that, you know? His first test in 24 hours when he's due to report. Say he's worried. The number, please. Arnulfo Vascones, K47795. Is an understatement. Hands are sweating, I don't know what I'm gonna do.